a Super VXO, covering an amazing span with cheap crystals. VXOs on 80 meters are normally thought of as a lost cause. You usually can't get the crystals to pull very far. But with a Super VXO, with crystals in parallel and care for inductance selection, you can achieve an amazing range. This VXO uses common TV color burst crystals for 3.579 MHz. I can get it to swing all the way down to the band edge at 3.5 MHz. Here's the circuit. In parallel with the main tuning capacitor is 47 picofarad fixed. If you want coverage up to 3.579 you leave that out. But if your 80 meter CW segment is smaller as in VK and you want fuller band spread then you leave it in. It also improves dial linearity as I'll show you in a moment. To the left are the RF chokes. These provide series inductance to pull the crystals all the way down to the band edge. Their values are absolutely critical. What works for you might not be best for me. Also, it's better to use a number of smaller chokes than a single choke, even if the added combined inductance is the same. Then there's the crystals. I did some experiments with this some years ago and I found that adding more crystals beyond two didn't have much benefit. But in this circuit, with these crystals, they did. So, if you've got four or five crystals, you might want to try them and see what swing you get. One limitation with VXOs is the tuning is often non-linear. That's where the parallel capacitor helps, especially if you don't need to use the range immediately below the crystal's frequency. Look at the scale shown on the lid of my box. A variation of around 12 or 13 means a shift of around 5 kHz. That's pretty constant at both the high and the low end of the range. That might be useful for offset circuits because you'd only need to be adding a fixed capacitance and be getting a reasonable constant offset over the full range. Can a Super VXO be retrofitted onto an existing CW QRP rig? The answer is yes, but you may get a little bit more chirp. That's because a crystal controlled oscillator requires less buffering than either a VFO or a VXO. But the extra one or two transistor stages needed is a small price to pay for the increased frequency agility, which, as I've said before, is key to making contacts with QRP.